Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Michael, Andreas, it's day one of IBC. How are you guys doing? We are very well, thank you. Thanks for having us. You're so welcome. Now talk to me about CGI and where you're positioned in the broadcast and media industry. Yeah, well, open media, uh, as you know, as a newsroom product is uh, quite well established with our customers as well for public as uh, well for private broadcasters. And uh, backed up with uh, CGI as a very big organization, uh, having the possibilities that you have in a big organization, uh, finance-wise or um, also support-wise with resources. Uh, it's uh, For us, it's a big thing. And we can, of course, from this position, uh, expand our position in the market, uh, try to make new offerings uh, to our customers uh, to, you know, uh, get ahead with the challenges they're currently having. So we're really uh, very keen to show new stuff here and new things on the on the trade show that would help customers make their production better, more efficient, quicker. All this. On that note, what are you showcasing here this year at IBC? Well, from the Dira side, um, we, we present um, our latest generation of the Dira production suite, which is called Dira Dimension. And Dira Dimension is basically um, a production system which can be used for end-to-end -end workflows for journalists and for also for presenters. And uh, Dira Dimension comes along with um, a so-called workflow engine, which can be used um, to adapt um, the system to the needs of our clients. And it also integrates um, with other systems, so we can easily integrate third-party systems using this workflow engine. And this is basically um, to adapt um, all the workflows and the requirements and all of our customers' needs. And we are presenting this solution together with our on-air player product, which is our playout application, which is then the application which is used in the studios. Fantastic. Now, with regards to the trends that's emerging in the industry, what are you finding with that and how are you meeting those demands? Well, we see a couple of things that are coming uh, towards our customers here to solve. Uh, I think the very obvious thing is, of course, AI. I mean, we don't have to talk about this. Uh, cloud production as well, but I think if you put it from the perspective of sustainability, it uh, could start make, making even more sense. Like, sustainability is about uh, saving, about being more uh, responsible and uh, efficient with using of resources. And of course, this casts back to uh, using the resources, for example, to decide do we use cloud-based resources, do we use on-based, uh, on-prem uh, resources, uh, how quick are our tools to use? Not only a question about how, to, how quick is a message on air, but also how much time does someone has to spend on his computer, laptop, on his equipment to produce stuff. And the shorter, of course, the more efficient. So it's a double benefit. You will be more sustainable and you will be quicker on air. So I think this is quite a big challenge for the customers. And we have uh, everything here on the booth to help them to cope with this challenge. With regards to challenges, is there any other obstacles that you're finding and how are you meeting those needs for your clients? Well, basically, um, what Michael already said is that we see a clear trend uh, towards clouds. So most of our customers um, wants to use the cloud and not only the cloud itself, they are also talking about hybrid setups consisting um, of combination of uh, cloud solutions and on-prem solutions. And what we also see is um, that the customers do not necessarily also just need to want to use um, the public cloud. They want to use their own clouds because they want to be in the responsibility of managing their clouds, the clouds themselves. And um, what we also see is um, that um, there's a clear trend uh, to use more AI integration. And the AI integration should be used for additional workflows which are important for journalistic workflows like, for, for example, the creation of summaries and um, transcription, translation services and audio transcription services. So this is a clear demand which we see coming from our customers. So, Michael, can you tell me a little bit more about what you're showcasing here specifically with regard to open media? Yeah, of course. Um, actually, we are uh, showcasing a brand new, our 5.4 version of uh, open media here with uh, all of the new um, uh, sub-products that we have, new sports, reporter app, uh, the, uh, you have... Uh, your newsroom in your mobile with you. Um, and uh, we have OMIA. OMIA is our base for integrating all AI functionality. 
So we're using uh, kind of this middle layer to uh, to coordinate all the AI activity that is possible in the system. And we have several AI use cases here also to show, like summary, keyword extraction, uh, direct chatting, uh, context-driven searches, and all that. So uh, in some integrations. Uh, also, we're very, really proud and excited to show uh, integrations with uh, our cloud production partners. Uh, specifically, new this year, we have an integration with AMP from Grass Valley and uh, with Flowix from Wizard T. So we can show a full cloud-based production uh, with Newsport uh, from Open Media here. Uh, also, in terms of data-driven decisions, we have our products to. Uh, uh, derive decisions from insights, from what's ongoing in your newsroom. We call it Open Media Insights, that module. But also for the administration uh, with Open Media Metrics, you'll be able to uh, survey what's ongoing and monitor what's ongoing uh, behind the scenes. So how is your backend doing in terms of health and these things. So it's a full portfolio of things we can show around Open Media, our newsroom product. And really excited to see all of our customers to have a look at it. Very exciting times. So Andreas, can you tell us a little bit more about what you're exactly showcasing here this year? Sure, of course. Um, uh, this year at um, IBCs we are showcasing our latest radio production suite, which is called Dera Dimension. And we have now developed um, and finished developing um, the tight integration, the seamless integration with the Adobe Creative Cloud products. Namely, we do have an integration with um, Adobe Premiere, um, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Audition where users can uh, work on external files directly from within the Adobe products, and which can then be imported or exchanged uh, with our Dira software suite. Um, also, we have finished, uh, or we have, we've almost finished the development um, of our multi-track web-based audio editor, where users can then um, or edit audio content directly from within the web browser. And um, they can also use um, new functionalities like server-based rendering, where the user can um, edit their projects from within the web browser and store it back into the Dira system. And also we are showcasing um, the AI integration um, on the example of, um, of text-to-speech, where we have done some audio transcription, which is a showcase um, for further functionality, uh, which will be then added to the Dira system in a later step. And on that note, what does the future hold for CGI? Um, I believe, um, well, the future, clearly, we can see um, a quick, challenging market with many, many requirements coming up um, as we go. And uh, this is a clear challenge that we need to meet um, quickly coming up requirements. So this is a clear challenge for us. Um, however, we do think that uh, with the latest products which we have developed, we are clearly in a position that we can meet those requirements and that we can also showcase um, AI integrations um, here at the booth. And this clearly is a, is a trend where we think that this is exactly what our customers need. Fantastic. Anything you'd like to add there, Michael? Yeah, same as Andreas, of course. I think uh, one thing for the future uh, that we also hear a lot is uh, now that you have all these changes, you probably need support to do a good change management. And I think coming back to the point that CGI is also a big uh, IT service provider. We have the means here to also directly support with our experts to dive into the problematics of uh, change management, of getting the people on board, buying in, uh, getting the buy-in from them to support this change management that's really needed to make this change uh, to face the challenges that we're actually seeing with our clients here. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Day one of IBC. I'm wishing you a fantastic show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for you. having us.